Welcome back, Indian lovers. Today, we're checking out My Hotel Echoes of the Past. So, you're going to grab yourself a plate. It's going to be a prologue for My Hotel, which is going to be you're taking over 1950s hotels, you see, with the aesthetics. And some of your guests are questionable, to say the least. This is the 1950s. Some things were going on, you know. You know, if, if you know the time period, you know what's going on. So, we're going to hop in and check out the game for a little while. If you do like it, of course, put the links down below. No, oh, we're here. In October of 1951, my life changed completely right in the heart of Chicago. Oh, this is a I cool voiceover. I got my over. uncle's hotel, the Griffin Royal. It's a huge place, something I could never afford in a million years. The whole situation is shadowed by something really sad. He was shot dead in the hotel along with some other people I don't know. Oh. His will had a strange rule. I can't sell the hotel for at least 10 years. And I have to live there and fix it up if I want it to really be mine. The Griffin Royal used to be really fancy, but now it just hangs over the street like a shadow of what it used to be. The police told me about a bunch of break-ins after it was left empty, and each time, the place got more messed up. I can't sell it, so I have to fix it up. Can I bring this place back to life? Do I have what it takes to make it a great spot in the neighborhood again? I have to start from the very beginning, Fixing up rooms, throwing out old stuff, learning all about cleaning and decorating, and especially updating the lobby and the floors where guests stay. And I've only got a thousand dollars. Is that enough to change the Griffin Royal's future? No, I hope so. We're kicking off by giving one of the hotel's chambers a breath of new life. Gotta move these furnishings, you see. I like the music store simulator because I think that's one of the games Time's that they're coming out with. This place into shape. Bid farewell to the worn out fixtures, the dingy walls, and that battered floor. Beer factory, the game. Once you reach the room and enter inside, you see how I make the first quest log point as a complete. Oh yeah, look at this. Yeah, I think those are games that these has before, like the Jurassic and all that stuff. I mean, I'd start with the lobby if I was anyone, but okay. Press two for the first floor, but there's a thousand buttons. <laughs> Is he almost getting really creepy vibes from this already? Like that there's going to be a ghost somewhere? Yo, did you see that? I promise you. Ah, there was, see? There's a rat. See? All right, then. No more dilly dallying. Let's dive right in. Yeah. Here's the old piece of furniture you want to sell, then confirm the sale. You'll receive a certain amount of money for it, which you can use for new furniture. Cool. Wipe off the stains. The cleaning broom. Cleaning broom. Okay. Let me clean off the walls here. Oh, come on. These are dingy. Yes, please. Dingy. Place new furniture. I'm now. Need to pick just the right pieces for this room. Bed, chair. Bed, chair, wardrobe. The essentials. Okay, so bed. Bed, chair, wardrobe. Okay. Let's go with the 125. Do we do a wall bed? 
do all bed. So wall bed, yeah. Then we we need a chair. In the corner like that, and then we'll put the wardrobe right there. How about that? Yeah, we'll put the cover. No. Wardrobes. We're gonna have this the 125 room. Uh we'll go there. Standard room. Mine, I. Now I'll just check off this room is good to go. Go to the floor plan to accept the upgraded room. Freeze the beats, activate the path. What's full game only? Oh, it's a restroom. Oh, you can only unlock the restroom here. No, I'm okay with this. Let's go with that. Dude, I'd be terrified. I, I know. I'm superstitious. I know. But like, I ooh. I'd be terrified about inheriting a hotel like this. And then, you know, like people get killed in here. So, I'd be terrified. Yeah, there's rats. I'd be terrified to encounter ghosts and everything, you know? Again, I am still... I'm a, uh, a superstitious person, so... Oh yeah, there's rats everywhere. We, we want, wait, we really want to do this? Wait, during Elizabeth. Oh, did I mess up? Oh, I messed up, was it? Oh. There's a lot of rooms. Room ready. Would you, you look go. at that? First, First room. room's all spruced up and ready to roll. Yeah, but I don't want to invite people in, do Seems I? Seems like a swell idea to make the lobby cozier for the guests. I was gonna say. Toss in some chairs, perhaps. Those ones I spotted on the first floor. I don't want to have people in here right now, do I? This is your host's lobby where guests can sit and admire your work. Upgrade it. Ooh, now it looks great. I saw a rat. Yeah, this Lux does look side. great. First guest walks in on opening day. Now, where's that guest book? This looks great. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Hotel Indy. Got the room roster right here. Perfect. It's going to be this one. Room 101. All furnished up. And good to go. Now comes the part where I match up the name with the right room. Just gotta scribble his name next to that room number, and we're all set. Slip the guest on the left and move the name over to the correct room number. There we go. Cha ching. Ah, uh, and a clock too. Gotta keep an eye on that. Uncle used to say it's a fine spot for folks to unwind by. Time just seems to ease by around it. Well, that's my work done for today. I'll use the clock and take a break. You use the clock to speed things up? Oh. That's beautiful. Illuminati, though. Illuminati. Said nap until 8 a.m. I'm like, um, that's called sleeping, not napping. Oh, that person got out already. Cool. Okay. Welcome in. Welcome to Hotel Indy. You walk really funny. <laughs> yeah, this lobby got a real big upgrade. Look at this. Can I get rid of these um, posters? I know these are games. I know these are games for by the uh, developer, so... You always promote your own games inside of these. Yep, 
Okay, so while we're waiting, can I go and spruce up another room? I see a question mark like a dice. So it's like random events. So that's room occupied. The rat just went in the room. Oh, I killed the rat. No. Random event time. Now how do you fix these up? Repair the radiator. Clean. Oh. Okay. God, I have the rat in <laughs> Excuse me. Perfect. Can I just put this in the cupboard for right now? I'm just gonna hide over there for right now. For the time being. Beds, one. Chairs, two. Sofas, one. Wardrobes, one. Okay. This is a big bed. This is a big room. I guess I would do a double bed in here, but I guess not. I, like, I would have done a double bed in here, but okay. Alright, sofas. I don't have a ton of money, so I gotta do with what I can. Please put that. Oh, that would have been great if I could put that there, actually. Okay. Chairs. I'm not going to have time for wardrobe, honestly. Enough money for a wardrobe. Serve the new guest. Yeah, I'm going to run out of room for the wardrobe. Coming, coming, coming. Sorry, sorry. I was cleaning a room. Hello. Weren't you, weren't you, you know, I'm not even ask. Sorry, sir. Right, right, right. I need more than one ready room if I don't want to lose money and reputation. I'm working on it. Ew, this elevator needs to spruce up. <laughs> My God, yes, it does. I'm almost there for this. Ooh, I lost money on that one. I can squeeze it in there. 
and I have just enough for a couple, couple table or a couple chairs. Why does this chair low key look comfortable as hell? We'll put these as the sleep watchers. So when you wake up, hello. Repair the electronics. Boom. There we go. Oh, I gotta buy these. Use a key, use a lock pick. What? Can I just lock pick in my way into rooms? Yeah, these all had to be. These all had to be bought. Ooh, there's a lot of them too. See this? I fully expected to walk around this corner and just be like jump scared. We saw that over the whole. You know, being in the hotel that you're, you know, that you know they died <laughs> and they got shot in so. Kind of reminds me of the hotel that is in Disney. Is it the Tower of Terror? A little bit. Oh, he's saying past time with the hotel now. What about the not notches mean here? Talk to the policeman. Hi. Inspector, to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Ah, uh, good evening to you. I'm Inspector Wunuk from the precinct. Yes, mustache. We've never had the occasion to meet before, but tonight I find myself in a bit of a bind. This briefcase contains documents of a rather delicate nature. It would be rather inconvenient for me if they were linked back to my person, especially considering the eyes that are likely to watch the hotel. Hmm. I need to ask you a favor. To keep this briefcase hidden in one of your rooms. There's a twist to it, see? An Italian fella, easy to spot by his accent and hat, will be staying here soon. It's crucial that he gets the room where the briefcase is stashed. Understood, Inspector. Any particular things I should keep an eye out for? Most important is keeping everything under wraps. The room where you put the briefcase needs to be like Fort Knox. No one gets in or even peeks inside. And you've got to be slick about hiding the briefcase. No one should see you with it. Nor should they notice it's gone once our Italian friend leaves. Speaking of which, once he checks out, I'll need you to fetch the briefcase and bring it back to me. And don't worry, you'll be compensated well for your troubles. You have my word, Inspector. I'll ensure the briefcase <laughs> is secure and return to you safely. Oh, we're in the, uh... We're up in the... Uh, the bar. Okay. To room 101. Wait for the gentleman, okay. This is 102. I don't have any more rooms right now. I don't have any more money. I'd buy room 114 right now if I could spruce it up. 
Oh my god. No, don't go in the room that I can't. No. It was, it keeps, they keep going to a room that I can't get to. There's the rat. Okay, let's see if I can't. Oh, trash. Yes, there we go. Can I just go to the clock and wait? Oh, I can. Nap until noon. Um. Yeah, nap until four p.m. Because when that's when the next guy arrives. I'm gonna assume this is the guy. Hi, sir. Pablo Montini. Class E. Yo, sir. Hope you have a lovely stay. $36. All right, book room S. We should probably spruce up the things in room. So that's a little more expensive. Wait until the gentleman leaves the room. Oh, he left. Okay. Why was the briefcase just outside the room like that? He just like used it and just laid it down. Okay. Oh, was he here the whole time? Inspector, the Italian gentleman has checked out. I have a briefcase. What's the next step? Fantastic. You've done a stellar job. Just hand over the briefcase and we're all set. Police up, mafia up, Russians. Ooh. 500 bucks, too. Oh, right. And a bar. Can't forget that. Gotta stock up on the spirits. Uncle used to ramble about keeping that bar well stocked. Else the big shots might end up displeased. I mean, we could do that. I reckon I gotta fetch something for the saloon. You can increase your reputation within each faction by purchasing the appropriate type of alcohol. Oh. Here I am, the new boss of this grand old hotel. Caught right in the middle of a tough power struggle. The Italians prefer their wine. The Russians want their vodka. And let's not forget the cops who go for whiskey. And the nightlife folks who love their gin. It's not just about serving drinks. It's about keeping everyone happy. If I run out, I could be in a lot of trouble. Oh, well let's uh, spend the money on... Okay. I put a ton of money into the bar. Oh, there's something random there. Something random here. Perry the plumbing. I could buy a new room too. 
Let's go see if we can't find a room. Oh. Anything else in here broken? All right, you are 180. I think there's a 80 room over here somewhere. Yes. Beautiful. There's some planes which I don't I don't understand how to use. See this? Oh. Well now I'm native in the hole. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, now I got you. After the democ. Dame Democles? Democles woman? Is that us? How's my bar doing? Nobody. Greetings. You can call me Isabel. I require Hi. some assistance with a delicate matter. Your skills are needed for a task that's not without its risks. But I assure you the reward is substantial. Let's say a thousand dollars. Interesting. What exactly is the task? A man, a guest at this hotel, will arrive tonight in the evening. His briefcase is our target. He's likely to leave it unattended while he showers, a routine he follows before meeting with one of my associates. Uh, you'll need to gain access to the room, which shouldn't be an issue since you have the master key. The briefcase might be locked, so take this. It's a lockpick set. Sounds very risky. I guess I can't ask why you are interested in this briefcase. The briefcase contains a file with a list app of people. That information is invaluable to my cause. Once you've acquired it, bring the file here and I shall inspect it. We'll decide the next steps afterwards. I think I understand. Is there anything else I should know? Timing is crucial. Carry out the operation within the specified time window. Once the file is in our possession, meet me at the bar to collect your $1,000. After that, no further contact is necessary. Yes, ma'am. Crystal clear. Let's get to work. Huh. Okay. Put a desk in room 101. I don't have the money for that. Can I go negative? Now we wait for the gentleman. I mean, it's a thousand dollars. I'm in negative one right now. Does that mean that I just get free stuff now? I nap a lot. Jeez. Hello, sir. This is the Italian dude, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, my price is up. It's $22. Nice. Listen for the sound of bathing. No, I'm not just casually walking your way, sir. 
I thought, are we going to the same place? Here, let me get the elevator for you. No, nope, won't let me. <laughs> I tried. What can I unlock here? All right, gotta be risky. Um. Ah, there it is. Nope, this isn't suspicious at all. Nope, not suspicious at all. Me carrying a clipboard, that's all. I've got the documents. Fantastic. Just give me a moment. All right, all set. Take them to my partner. Take them to my partner? I'm gonna get shot, aren't I? Ooh, the mafia? Why would I... I mean, why would I want the Mafia to be on my... Why would I be on the, the bad side for the Mafia? The silence from the Mafia is deafening. I've clearly crossed a line here, and they're not taking it lightly. I've got to make it right somehow. Um... Are you staying? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you make amends with the Mafia. Yeah, I mean. Every night something's going on here that either calms things down or stirs them up. It could be a big party or a quiet meeting, and each one affects how the different groups see us. I need to be careful with these events because they really shape our relationships. I can skip some, but others you just can't miss. I need to make sure to check the newspaper on the bar each day to know what's coming. Managing these right is key to keeping things peaceful and keeping our hotel open. Oh, okay. There's a chance to host a crucial meeting business meeting involving the owner of a local company. Say no. Post the meeting. You no know, one's touched the bar. I've had uh, I had this bar stocked. Listen, I got a grand. I'm gonna go fix up the whole hotel, okay? Hello. Enjoy your stay. I wonder if I spruced up the whole room, if I could charge like a way bigger price. Hmm. Welcome in. Oh, look, she's in the lobby. Hello. You enjoying yourself? Don't, don't mind Fred. Fred. Fred's just part of the hotel. He's nice. He doesn't bite at all. Oh, was well I supposed to skip the event? Repair the plumbing. Oh, they're in the lobby talking. That's kind of cute. Maybe it'll be like a potential, like, you know, make me a, make me a, make me a match.
Wait, fix the repair the plumbing in here? I ain't even bought this hotel or this room yet. I guess it was just kind of like, well, you're buying it now, so suck it up. I right, just clean these up, clean these up. Clean your shop. Clean your shop. Clean this up. And clean this up. Stains gone. Beds, chairs, sofas, wardrobes. Oh, and then I can sell this room. This could be my executive suite room. No, I'm still too poor for that, but I can still get like a $300 bed in here, though. Still not bad. Oh, they didn't charge me for that. Wait, is this like a money cheat? No, actually I just lost $100, but whatever. Put ourselves a sofa in here. Good old bathroom sofa, you know? gonna set this up here here we're going here and finish room there we go you know friends are done for the evening it's a nap until 8 a.m I just nap in the lobby too. Like they just come down, they're like, "Hey, talk to Lorenzo." Uh oh, he doesn't look happy. Good evening, sir. How can I help you? My friend, the hotel's back in action. I see. We're organizing a little soiree, a poker night. I trust you won't object to arranging a room. Nothing grandiose, just the essentials: a table, four chairs, a wardrobe a dresser, and a sofa. And cleanliness is the key. I think something like this can be arranged. Can I ask your name? My name is Lorenzo, and we'll be playing poker probably all night. You'll get half the money now, and someone will bring you the rest tomorrow. So, warm regards, arrivederci. And remember, no one can disturb us. Oh. Furnish room 102 according to Lorenzo's recommendations. Oh. Here's an opportunity for your bar to be featured in the glamorous photo shoot for the popular brand's calendar. Yeah, why would I not say no? Or why, would I say, why would I say no to that? <laughs> you know what I mean? So furnish 102 to that. Oh, I just put a bed in there. I gotta sell the bed too. Oh, okay, this room. Oh. What? What happened in here? Okay, sofa's good.
What happened in there? Dude, we turned into the rat motel. Uh, you little bugger. Come here. This is crazy that we just had this many. Okay. We're going to have to clean everything up here. Table, four chairs, wardrobe, COVID. Okay. Can you throw it into the trash? Yes. Amazing. You can hike it into the trash. All right, this is going to take forever. <laughs> this is a good time to get a stop. Oh my god, look at the rat. What the? Oh, I wish there was another way to clean this, man. Oh, I don't need the bed. I don't need the bed. All right, folks. Thank you so much for joining me for the Indie Buffet. Hope you find. I think I actually broke the game here. Because now I can't move anything. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for the Indie Buffet. We'll help you find your next favorite Indie. Peace.